guys, it's Robin with All Things Hard and Home. Welcome back. Today I've got a fun project. Um, it's going to be a stencil tablecloth because I have a shower coming up um, and I'm so excited about it. It's a woodland theme and I wanted to do, um, you know, a rustic feel but with a little bit of a feminine touch because Bridget is going to have a girl and so of course you got to have that little bit of feminine in there. I um, am using a drop cloth. I saw this tablecloth at a conference I was at, and um, a company had the tablecloth, Royal Design Stencils, and I fell in love with it. The tablecloth was a drop cloth, and they had stenciled with a couple of doily stencils, like this, on the tablecloth. It was so pretty. Just the rustic element with the white doily stencil that added a little bit of feminine to it. I just went nuts over it. So I asked them if they would send me a stencil to try this and to tell you about their stencils, and they so kindly show you now did. what you need if you wanted to do this project. And then we'll get started. Are you ready? Okay, what I've done is marked the center of the tablecloth because that will ensure that I can make the design exactly where I'm going to see it on the table. Here's my center, and I'm going to offset the stencils. You know, you could do them however you okay, want. Okay, you can see I've got the center stencil already done, and I used a roller, like I told you, but I ended up needing a stencil brush, which this was the only one I had. A bigger one might have been more helpful. This one's not a very good one. But I used it to come off of the edges to define the edge of the stencil, which I did not think of until I got going. And it's, it's really simple. You just make sure your brush is, you know, close to dry and you come off the edge. And load your brush and then get most of the paint off and go back over the inside of your stencil. There you go. This pattern is a little different than the first one, and I love it that they're different. And I'm going to offset them next time. I'll just do this one down here. And I'll do this one right up here, and it'll go over my edge. So I just continue on like this till I filled the tablecloth. I'm excited about this for my woodland theme baby shower. I'll leave it on this table and fill the table with a few more rustic elements like this wood riser. The husband made this. Isn't that cool? It's on the blog. Actually, he gave a tutorial on how to make it with rebar um, legs it is, it, that I painted gold leaf. Isn't that cool? But anyway, it's on the blog, rustic wood riser. And um, I'll put a few more of those up here with some other rustic elements and, and put my food out. I use my burlap. Um, they're burlap, but they're spray painted with gold leaf. Um, that great spray paint I love so much. And I used those candle hold sticks here on the mercury glass, and I think that just adds, don't you love using opposites when you decorate? The burlap is so rustic, and the mercury glass is so not rustic. If you and want to see more tab. from Royal Design Stencil, check out their website. They have a ton of things to choose from and a lot of great ideas. Um, and stay tuned for more of the preparation for the rustic baby shower and I have preparation coming up for our fall party, our big family fall party um, that's coming up at the last Saturday in October so I'll be getting things under control for that um, in the coming weeks. So we have a lot of projects on my YouTube channel to come and follow me on the blog too, All Things Hard and Home. You can find me there five days a week and I have always got something fun to share. So until now, until next time, sending love from me to you. Bye bye guys. Thank you.